So as soon as we woke up, we, we headed south and in another half an hour we, we got to Tarifa. And uh, yeah, I really love this place because there's so much history for me and I mean for all water sports. And uh, in Tarifa, of course, in 2011, I jumped the pier as well. Uh, and this place divides the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, yeah, in my dreams, I pictured it with a mega loop. And uh, I was a bit nervous because Nikki was uh, really freaking me out a little bit. She's like, no, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't do it. Yeah, let's do and it. As women are always right, except this time. Tomorrow actually we fly to Baku for five days in Azerbaijan. I've never been, but I got invited by Red Bull to have some fun with the local scene. So we're here in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, just a five hour layover. So we decided to pop into the city quick and uh, eat some food. Fuck, we just missed our flight. I thought we had like a five hour layover, so we just grabbed some food and did some work on the laptop. And now I look at the boarding pass and it says boarding time one hour ago and the flight is leaving now. So I fucked up. So believe it or not, we're actually boarding the plane now. I don't think we will miss this one because it's right there. But you never know. Oh, trip, break a leg. We made it. The land of fire and wind. Yeah, so Azerbaijan, I didn't know much about it, you know. I mean, it's in the Middle East, you know, and like, what, what can I expect? I didn't really expect anything. But coming there, it was a super good vibe between like the old town and like the new things that are being built there. And yeah, I really enjoyed the atmosphere. And we're heading to uh, Blue Planet, the kite station. And uh, I can't wait to check out the lagoon because they promised me some butterfly water. You know, I love that. So hopefully we score some wins soon. I'm not leaving any time before that. So we're basically on a peninsula here. Uh, look the other side, that's the open uh, water of the Caspian. Ooh, with 50 knots. How far is it? It's, Maybe a uh, bit too far. 90 meters. 90? Yeah. On a good, good, good day. So they invited some uh, journalists over so I can uh, make them a nice introduction to kite surfing, explain them uh, a little bit who I am. And and the gear just got much safer and easier and now people ride away within their first lesson, sometimes in three hours. <laughs> oh, I'm scared of a snake. Nice one. Now we just woke up at sunrise, there's a bit of a cloud in front of it. But the wind is on, so I'm gonna go for a little morning cruise. Our time here in Baku is coming to an end and uh, we have to fly on to the next mission. Uh, we didn't score the wind we hoped for but we squeezed in a little sunrise session this morning which was a lot of fun and uh, yeah now it's just about packing our bags and heading toward the next forecast. So we're here in Dieppe uh, just uh, finishing up some breakfast with the production crew. Uh, we're about to head out to shoot the Samsung campaign and uh, yeah we just need to pinpoint where we're gonna go. So 
we just got to the spot. It's high tide, there's some nice waves. So I'm gonna try it out. I think I'll rig my nine and go huge. for a session because it looked pretty epic but unfortunately the current was indeed too strong and uh, I couldn't edge into it I only did two loops after half an hour and it just cost so much energy it's like you're sprinting all the time and uh, yeah we need to film some more so I thought I saved my energy and wait for the tide to drop and the current to stop so uh, then I'll be able to drop some more loops for the guys Wow, what a day, <laughs> chasing a storm, you never know what to expect and especially with uh, quite a crew involved, uh, this was uh, a little bit of pressure and I had to work very hard in today's conditions but wow, what a feeling man, I had some of the biggest mega loops in my life and uh, yeah, all ingredients just came together and it was mega stoked. Huh? There he is, we found him. Okay, we are considering jumping the pier. I have to jump the pier because I told my friend Johnny that I'll jump easily over the pier and the camper. 